I mean, this one, this one I paid 50 bucks for used. It was slightly used Michelin. And then I had to pay 10 bucks to get it mounted. And, uh, hey, it's Bill the Handyman up here in Northern California. How y'all doing today? Damn, I'm looking at a slow leak in my tire. And so basically, if you get some dish soap, you get some dish soap and you put it in a little spray bottle and you spray it around suspect areas. Um, typically, if you look on the tire and you don't see any nails in it, then it's probably not going to be leaking from the bottom. Um, if you put it on its side, you can see I've already sprayed this on here. And you can see that we have bubbles here. This is near the, whatever the balancing uh, rivet, divot, whatever they call it. And we got bubbles over here as well. Um, so mainly it's here. And see, you can see they're active bubbles, basically. You can see that it's, all, it's like they're alive, right? And these ones over here, they're just dead. They're just sitting there. These ones over here are also alive. You can see them kind of like growing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take something and sort of hammer it down on this to see if I can pull it in a little bit, basically. Uh, basically what we're doing is we're trying to uh, just hammer this a little bit so it sort of reseats. So it sort of reseats on the rim. This is not the ideal tool, but you get the idea. And then the other alternative, of course, is take to your dealership, whatever, your car tire dealership, and have them try and reseal it. But the problem is, is that if the tire is older than 10 years old, and there's a number on this somewhere, I'm not real familiar with it, but if the tire is older than 10 years old, they can't mess with the tire. Um, basically, certain businesses, for whatever correct business practices for the, by the law, they can't mess with an old tire, basically. And if your tire that is older than 10 years old, there's not much they can do with it. Okay, so this one, I just let the air out of it. If we look here, we can see, we can get to part of this area. And so basically, I'm gonna clean this up real good, put the sealer on this side, as well as put it in the valve stem. It's the spare tire in the can stuff that I use. Um, I actually may use some other sort of cement in here to see if I can seal this up, make sure it's nice and dry, and hopefully that will solve the problem. Okay, so here's basically what I used. I used a spare tire in a can and a Gorilla Glue. I put the Gorilla Glue, I pushed this as far as I could down, put the Gorilla Glue in between here, um, and it's probably not a good advisable thing to do is put glue there but uh um you know if you can't get a spare tire you can't afford a spare tire and you got to get down the road to the, to the next stop you know this might work for you um so basically it's holding air right now and i sprayed some soap on it and it's not bubbling so and of course you have to move this tire around a bit, bit you have to shake it back and forth so that that stuff gets in the cracks So that's, uh, that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.